Pharmacy in the Civil Services Examination. So let us give her a big hand. So good evening everyone. So today uh, I promised you all that we'll have all the top five ranks some years back I said and today we have all the five rank holders. Um, so Ishita and uh, Garima was here yesterday and so was Mayur and Smriti and today we have Uma who could not make it the other day. So today we have Uma Harati with us. So Uma has been our student for quite some time. She graduated in 2017 and uh, I think she's been our student for past uh, two or three years. And this year, she's been uh, secured a super duper rank, rank three. She's been a very hardworking and diligent student with us. You can take a look at her copies and uh, they are really good. Also, uh, she was with uh, the Mains Guidance Program with us. And she was also a student of the Anthropology Augmented Test Series. And she's one of those few people who has written all the tests. So I invite uh, Uma, please come to, you know, share some of her wisdom with us. All right, Uma. So Ma, I'll hand over the podium to you and uh, I hope that uh, the our students can benefit from all the insights and all the uh, wisdom that uh, over the years you have accumulated that has helped you in clearing this exam with these top ranks. All right. Uh, so my name is Uma Harati. I am coming from uh, state of Telangana. I was born in Nalgunda district in Telangana, but because of my father's profession, I was there in different districts uh, through the time. My father is in the police department. He is superintendent of police through state services. And I have a brother who is in the engineering services, uh, currently in CPWD Bombay. And my mother is a, a housewife. I started, it was my father who motivated me towards the services at a very young age. And I was not sure for a very long time, but towards the end of the graduation, I decided civil services is what I want to pursue. So after graduating from the university, I started preparing for the exam. And it's been a long and a challenging journey. This is my fifth attempt, which means I failed four times before. So this is pretty much a uh, a brief introduction about myself. When the results were about to come and I was in a complete panic mode, I did not know what to do. It was like that the uncertainty was driving me crazy. So I did what uh, I could do best, which is to so solve prelims test papers. So I was in a very prelims mode trying to solve the papers. And when I saw the result, so I was going to search for my roll number uh, in the search tab but then I suddenly saw my name right there at rank 3. I did not believe it. I started asking people it was if it was fake PDF. <laughs> so but uh, eventually I realized that it's not a fake PDF and then I cried for about three or four minutes vigorously and then I came to my senses and then I've been relieved since. I came to know about Forum from a friend of mine who had by then already enrolled in the MGP program. And I was just looking at the answer sheets that she was writing. I liked the way questions were framed. I felt they were more analytical, like how they're asked in the uh, actual UPSC exam. And I thought if I'm practicing, then I should be practicing uh, questions which are closer to the actual UPSC standard. So I enrolled in the MGP program. I get motivation by doing something. So I plan a lot. So I have uh, six month targets, monthly targets, weekly targets and daily targets. And whenever I uh, clear those targets, it gives me that uh, kick of motivation that I need. So it's the other way around. Instead of looking for motivation that will make me do things. So I try to do things and get motivation. I read about this in a in a book called Motivation is a Myth or something like that. And secondly, my uh, the support system I had at home was incredible. My parents never questioned my abilities and they never asked me, how long are you going to study or why don't you pick up a job on the side or when I'll get married. Not, none of that questions ever cropped up at home. They just said, we have your back, uh, like we have your back, so just 
keep at it just be sincere and learn from your mistakes so these two my strategy and approach for prelims are uh, very simple actually and they got me through all the five general studies part the one time that i failed in prelims it was actually in csat not the uh, first paper so first is to do all the basic books we all know what the basic books are for each subject i had made very short notes of all these books and i would revise them and a second part is the tests practicing tests so i always did two test series so each test series generally has about 35 tests so that means about 70 tests in total and i made sure that each of these tests is of uh, or anything for that matter i always made sure that anything i study has to be revised thrice before going to the actual exam so each of the, those tests were uh, revised thrice before the actual exam so mostly the tests i would say changes the game for prelims i generally started prelims preparation only 2 months before the actual prelims exam so in the morning session i would take a test every single day it's a test and in the afternoon session i would revise my basics and uh, the rest of the time i would revise the current affairs notes that i was making or uh, i would revise the tests that i had appeared you know one week before or something like that so it's morning tests and afternoon session revision revision regularly read newspaper like i enjoyed reading newspaper i read the hindu uh, for much of my preparation uh, i read it in the i read it the first thing in the morning and uh, i picked up if i felt that something was important f- uh, for prelims i picked it up if something was important for mains i picked it up mm-hmm. but i tried to make sure that i'm just uh, taking up whatever is needed not everything and also in a very concise way so i had separate notebook for prelims and the mains related current affairs main change that i've made uh, in this attempt compared to the previous attempts that is trying to write answers to get marks so i focused on all those little things which uh, increase scores in the paper and i told myself that i'm not going to read anything more or accumulate any more content Uh, so i focused on things like preparing introductions and conclusions beforehand for all the topics i try to incorporate as many examples as possible and something as simple as i always used to like finish the space given in the uh, paper not leave any space in the paper and uh, i used a lot of diagrams flow charts all the things that uh, toppers keep talking about but this time i actually implemented them i practiced them in the mock test so that i can implement them in the actual exam plan your preparation after prelims or whenever you're taking mgp according to the schedule of the mgp so that you can study the relevant syllabus and test yourself through the test and secondly write them on time when you write them on time they correct and give it back to you within like 48 hours or so for those who are appearing for the mgp program this year i would say plan your preparation as per the schedule of mgp so that you can extract the maximum out of it and that's how i planned my preparation mm-hmm. or my study schedule and secondly attempt the mgp tests in time when you attempt them in time uh, the forum can uh, like check them and give it back to you within 48 hours or so and such quick feedback is very important because it will help you to quickly look at the mistakes that you've been making so that you will not repeat those mistakes in the next test and thirdly uh, please take the suggestions seriously the feedback that they give and work on each one of those uh, feedbacks given by forum evaluators uh, so that you can improve little by little over the test mainly the thing that matters which is how the questions are framed i found the questions to be analytical and close to the uh, standard of upsc so when we are preparing for upsc then we should also be uh, practicing questions which are close to the upsc standard so that is what i appreciated the most and secondly if the tests are written in time the forum returns your checked copies within 48 hours Uh, which is something i really liked in general i think in this exam uh, 60% of the time should be devoted to practice because it's a competitive exam the more you practice the more you uh, you're good at taking an exam uh, so i would say max 60% of the time should be practice but yes you also need your own notes uh, so refer to the standard books make your own notes and make your notes 
uh, keeping in mind the syllabus and the previous year's questions. Uh, on, those are the only two guiding uh, lights that we have. So keep them in front of you and then make notes accordingly. In my third attempt, I appeared for the interview, but I failed to uh, clear the exam in that stage. So I thought, okay, let me go ahead and give prelims so that I can once again appear for the interview. Uh, but I failed to clear prelims. And that was the first time uh, since I started my preparation that I failed prelims. So it was a, uh, it was two failures back to back and it was the lowest I could uh, see as a person and even academically or, or in this way. But uh, in hindsight, it was the best thing that happened to me because I got out of the cycle for a bit. I got an opportunity to reevaluate everything and take a fresh perspective. I changed my optional, I changed my writing, the way I was uh, presenting my answers. So, uh, so that's how I think that was the lowest phase, but it also happened to be the brightest beginning. I changed my optional from geography to anthropology. I made this decision in my fourth attempt when I failed to clear prelims. Uh, so the reason I changed was geography was simply not working for me. I was not scoring well. The maximum I scored was around two, 240 in all the three mains that I appeared with geography. So uh, it was not an easy decision given the amount of time and emotion I invested in geography. So everybody said it was a risky thing to do at that point. But I felt uh, I hit my low then. So there was no, there was no lower point. So I thought that was the right time to take risk and change things. And I'm grateful that it worked. It was my first uh, mains with anthropology. I was a little underconfident about taking or appearing for the tests. Uh, when I was looking at various test series, I found the uh, questions in uh, uh, anthropology test series of forum. They were curated very uh, relevant to the syllabus in the sense that they helped me cover all the syllabus topics and they were more like the initial tests were very simple uh, directly based on the question uh, previous year's questions and directly based on the syllabus topics so uh, because they were framed in that way I did not feel scared or underconfident to attempt those so I went ahead once I started writing and improving I could attempt the later tests which were slightly more analytical so I think the way the tests were designed and the way questions were framed, uh, I liked that part. My interview panel was uh, Satyavati Ma'am's uh, panel. Uh, there were no difficult questions as such, but uh, uh, one of the questions that I thought worked in my favor was, uh, <coughs> Ma'am asked me, what was I doing for so long, for five years? And maybe that question could have made <coughs> me insecure earlier. But this time I simply admitted that I was making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. So I think this was a, a nice question and it came out as the first question. So everything was there on the table. I have had a long journey and I think there are few qualities that make this journey, you know, short or easier. Uh, so for aspirants, I would say the first thing is to uh, have a sense of understanding of the exam. So you must understand the exam on your own. Uh, what is the demand of the exam? How do you go about it? This sense of clarity is important. You should not jump into the exam without understanding this. And the uh, second thing is to uh, learn from your mistakes. Like that learning attitude sh should never go away from you. Constantly see where you're going wrong or where you're going right. So evaluate yourself and go ahead. And the third thing, don't be impatient. Everybody has their own journey. <coughs> some people make it in first attempt, some in two, some take more time. So appreciate your own journey. Understand uh, your strengths and your weaknesses and own up your journey. So it will make you very confident and also humble. So I would say just don't be impatient, be patient. And fourth, most important thing, have a sense <coughs> of uh, balance in your life. Do not isolate yourself, uh, do not uh, uh, just sit and study for like 20 hours or so. Have a sense of balance, pursue your hobbies, develop your personality in the process. So go ahead with a joyful and a balanced uh, 
approach. The benefits that I got from uh, being a student at Forum was first their online program. I was preparing from a small town called Narayan Pet in Telangana, and I could do all, I could attempt all the tests with internet and a printer at home. And second thing, quick feedback. Whenever I ro uh, wrote the MGP test on time, I got the feedback uh, back in time. And third is the uh, discussion videos. This helped me especially for anthropology to augment my content and maybe fill gaps or correct myself. Uh, this was important because I was I did anthropology by myself. Those who are writing the mains exam, please remember that you're writing an exam where you need to score marks to clear the exam. So in the next three months or so, uh, focus on how you can extract that extra mark out of every single question that is thrown at your face. So focus on that. It's not content, it's not knowledge, it's not the number of uh, current affairs you're reading or the bulk of those current affairs. It's about marks. So please evaluate yourself. Please think about what will fetch me marks, what will make me stand out and my answers stand out and focus just on that. For those who are preparing from small towns and from home or remote regions, it's a good decision. Stay at home, utilize the online resources and uh, take help of the uh, family support that you get at home. Eat good food and uh, uh, prepare in a balanced way.